At the beginning of the year, I wanted to do one of two things. I either wanted to ride in a charity race, raise lots of money and vlog the whole experience. Or my second option was to get a horse straight off the track and vlog the whole experience of what it's like to retrain an ex-racehorse. Well, hence the title, I didn't actually make it to a charity race. So I've got myself a new horse straight off of the track to retrain. So each week I'm going to be vlogging the whole experience. But first, let me introduce you to my beautiful ex-racer. And they're off and racing at Kempton. And OK, a Class 6 handicap on a Wednesday night may not have been a race that had caught your attention, but I really wanted to give you an insight into Violet Slad's racing career. So, Racing TV have kindly allowed me to use the footage of her first ever win, which was at Kempton. Now, at this point, she was in her third season. She'd already had 19 runs. Nine of those, she came in the top three, and seven of those, she came second. They got away to a level break. Harry Bow is sent towards the outside of Violet's lads, and these are the first two. Abris Geperil then towards their outside, and also Castello wants a little bit of the early action. Meanwhile, at the other end of the field, it's Marzell who's at the back of the pack with Mr. Freeze and Cawthon also towards the rear of the field, together with Silver turns to gold. They make the run towards the end of the back stretch, and it is Castello around the outside of Harry Bow who are the first two, with Maid Millie against the inside rail now in third. Abris Geperil is racing in fourth position, two lengths away to on the inside Violet's Lads. On her outside is Salfeggio racing just better than midfield. Next around the turn is Rita's Folly alongside Cawthon who's keen. Out wide is Air of York and these are followed by Mr. Freeze who's on the inside of Silver Turns to Gold who's got plenty more in front than behind. The back marker is Marzell. They've got two and a half furlongs to go and Harry Bow still has the lead. Castello is now being ridden along in second. Maid Millie goes the cutaway route to Towards the inside. Cawthon now begins to stay on down the wide outside and also Silver turns to gold is weaving his way through the field. He drops down now towards the inside rail. It's Violet Slads and Cawthon with Silver turns to gold on the inside of Maid Millie and they've got a half furlong to go and it's Cawthon on the outside. Violet Slads, Violet Slads now surges and Violet Slads wins. Tight second, very close between Silver turns to gold on the far side and on the near side, Cawthon. Got my cup of tea ready to go. So this is Violet. So she was in training with Brett Johnson. She's an eight-year-old mare. She's absolutely gorgeous, not only to look at, but also her temperament is amazing and she loves my coffees. Yes, you do. Now, I will just say, firstly, her markings on her face. So beautiful. So the first one on top of her head, this is called a star. This one here. The one at the bottom of her nose is a snip. However, it is currently brown because she's obsessed with the licks. So you can get these big boxes of licks which are full of nutrients and all other things. They taste really nice. She's obsessed with them and now she's covered in this sticky, sticky goo. Don't know if she'll come back. She seems to have disappeared. Come on! I know, I'm going to get her a little treat so she can be in the background. So this is her treat ball that I give her. I put little pony nuts in and then she likes to Shall I just push it around and basically get the treats done? So I'll give this to her so she can be in the background. Is that nice? Yes, you know it's your ball, isn't it? Yeah, and it's got treats in it. Hours of entertainment. So now you've seen Violet's Lads in her new home, let me tell you a little bit more about her. So Violet's Lads was in training with Brett Johnson who is based in Epsom. She is the daughter of my boy Charlie and Cape Violet. My boy Charlie is a group one sprint winning two year old by Dane time. Some of his elite winners include Euro Charlene and Sister Charlie. So her half sister, Sister Charlie, is based in the US in training with Chad Brown and has a total earnings of 2.8 million pounds. So let's take a look at Violet's history. So she was bred in Tipperary by James Hanley. She was then sent to the Earling Sales in the September of 2015 and was sold for 20,000 euros. From what I can gather from her passport, she was bought by Richard Hughes and brought over to the UK. And then she ended up in Epson in training with Brett Johnson where her career began. In her total career, she ran 46 times. Three of those were wins and 11 of those she came second. In total, she racked up just under 26,000 pounds. 
Originally, Violet wasn't actually for me. She was supposed to be for my yard owner. So I went with him to go and look at her. It was on a Monday, two weeks after her final race. However, she was entered to run again at Lingfield on the Thursday. But we took her home. And now I seem to have another horse. She's very easy to handle. Um, of course, <laughs> move your head. When we brought her home in the lorry, she did weave and walk the whole way. But then again, she thought she was going racing. She's been absolutely spoiled. She loves these pony nuts. I give her these. Like I said earlier, this is from the lick. She loves it. And you can get different flavors for different things, for breathing, I uh, can't remember what else actually. Garlic, probably for the flies. It's funny, because when she came, she was in the most perfect, pristine, condition everything was conditioned everything was beautiful and clean including all her white bits on her body and now obviously being out and in our school we have orange sand so you're not as clean are you so i'm looking forward to giving her a bath and we've got new products so i'm looking forward to trying all those out yes is that nice so she's licking my hands for the salt salt in my hands so she has two salt licks so she's got that that sugary molasses -y one and then she's also got a normal Himalayan salt salt rock lick so that when she needs a bit of salt she can lick it isn't that right yes oh god you're so sticky so that's a little bit about Violet so make sure you stay tuned like and subscribe and keep up to date so I'll be uploading the next one and I'll be showing you a little bit more about the inside to retraining a racehorse Oof, look at that for mud. Some, oh, okay, yeah. Here's which I'm going to be telling you guys all about.